Hey guys, what is going on? Maxi Design here, and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to be making a simple uh, album cover or uh, mixtape cover, whatever you want to call it. Um, today we're actually going to be looking at this one that I made, iPal, recently, um, and it's really easy to make. Um, it's literally just a couple of layers, uh, and it looks really cool. Um, so for this image here, it is just an image I found that I thought looked really cool. Um, you can see it here. If I bring it to the front, uh, and I will be leaving this in the uh, description down below, um, so you guys can just like download it if you want. I use some of the textures that are on there. Um, most of the textures that I used in here are actually from my texture pack that I released a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, I don't know how long ago. Um, See, so yeah, that's just literally a picture, and I put that to the side. Um, let's take all of this off. Um, so there we go. That's what it looks like raw. Uh, actually, no, I've got CC on there. Um, so I've got color correction on what is it? This one. Um, so that is adding. Uh, I just played around with the hue and saturation. Um, I also uh, changed the levels. Levels is really easy to use. Um, if you go to adjustments, um, we go here, um, and if you play around with the curves, you can kind of alter the darkness, the lightness. It changes a lot of things. Um, this is just like a easy way to change every single thing at once. Um, so I'm going to take that off. Um, and what else did I do? Um, that's pretty much it for that. So I left that on. Um, then I added. I didn't add that. That, that was just for. I mean, this is the text I used. Um, the font I used for this was this one. Free sand standard. Um, so it's just literally love lies. Like that. And then I made it. I enlarged it. Moved it to the side. Then double click it. And then, hold on, here we go. What has gone on there? There we go. Um, so I made it black and, hold on, no style, there we go. Uh, so I go on color overlay made it black um, it doesn't really matter what color just need a single like a single block color um, so you can highlight it at the end then I went to stroke made that white make sure that your stroke is on the outside and change that to maybe two, three, four, five, five maybe um, I'm just gonna change the spacing between the, the letters because it's just it's too close together at the minute so I'm going to go to 50, that's too much, 30, 40, oh no, I did minus there, 35, 35, not 55, there we go, okay, now you want to go down and rasterize layer type and go up to the magic wand tool and just highlight all the things. If you want to know how to highlight different things at the same time, you literally just hold down shift um, and then you can control X to get rid of it and that gives you the same kind of type um, as I did there. Um, looks kind of the same, uh, just a bit smaller. Okay, so let me get rid of that and the next thing I did was add in just the artist name, looks cool in the little corner um, and then I added, I added this because I, I just thought that there was not enough color on the right side of the um, the album, so I chose some colors that are already in there, so some like purple and a pink and something like that, and I just basically took this rectangle here, did that, took the eyedropper, um, I took like this, I know maybe not this, uh, let me find a nice color. Okay, that's a nice one. And let me get a lighter colour. Like that. Uh, and then just take the gradient tool here. And it should already have it there. And then you want to make a new layer. Bring it up to the top. 
and then you just do that. Make sure, make sure the thing is on this one, because then it makes it just look a lot, a lot nicer. Um, so like that. There we go. It's pretty easy. Um, it's not the same colours, but yeah, you get the idea. And we get rid of that. Okay. Um, and then the last thing I did was literally just add. Um, what the hell? I literally just added a texture over the top, just to make it look like it's been worn. Um, and you can find that if you go to my texture pack. Um, it should literally just be. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one, and I've kind of like taken some of the elements out. Um, I deleted a lot of this side because I didn't want it to be too much over the text, but I wanted it to be a lot over like the picture, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to see any tutorials or breakdowns on how to create album covers or YouTube backgrounds, then please suggest them in the comments. And that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys.